62524, I got this. It's called The Glory of the Lord Revealed. The glory of the Lord will be revealed, first through his own, then from himself in the sky. When he comes for war, he will come with bold brightness and gain attention, drop to the earth like a bold lightning. So fierce, the earth will split apart when his feet touch down. The enemy, human or demonic, have no perception of how much power he will wield. Only death and grave have seen this power in partial revelation. Satan has also seen it only in partial revelation. Jesus has patiently waited to use his full power for the day he comes to fight. All on the earth who work for the Antichrist, Satan, and the evil people who follow the Antichrist will receive the full fury of righteous anger that will be on display. Yes. It will instantly kill demons and stun the highest authorities and even stun Satan because they perceive Jesus as weak. But he will wield the full power of deity, for he is deity. This will radically change everything. The prideful will aim to fight unsuccessfully. All that are with him will come into their full power with his mighty boldness and brightness. The consequences will be quick and justified because time will have expired for evil, darkness, wickedness, sin, and carnality. They will be eradicated before the righteous reign of Jesus Christ in the millennial reign. Then righteousness, love, and joy will rule the world. The world will be run with its original intent by my law and with people not provoked to evil into sin. Righteousness will be natural. Obedience will never be done with rebellion in the heart. People will have full faith and love each other instead of hate and competition. That time is not far off. Hold on. Evil must have its reign before this occurs. After rapture, the evil will reign the earth. Avoid being here for the great tribulation by coming to me in full obedience. Bring your obedience. Faith is always shown in obedience. Be in compliance with the new covenant. Let Jesus' words guide you. Be baptized and purified. Be fully sanctified. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Come to me in all humility and ask for forgiveness. Be obedient to my son's words in the Gospels. These are my words brought to man. Eternal salvation awaits the obedient. Eternal damnation awaits those who do not fully obey. Be full of faith. Be fully persuaded of me, so much so that you fully obey. Obedience is non-negotiable. Here are some verses. Isaiah 45. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. 2 Corinthians 13, 18. But we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Matthew 5.16, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Isaiah 26.21, for behold, the Lord comes out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth will also disclose her blood and no more cover her slain. Zechariah 14.4, and his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east, and on the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof, toward the east and toward the west. And there shall be a very great valley, and half of the mountain shall remove toward the north, and half of it toward the south. Revelation nineteen, eleven to 21 Now I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse and he who sat on him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes were like flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written on he had a name written that no one knew except for himself. He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Okay, so that's it, and I hope that's an encouragement, and I'll see you next time.